I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on binomial distribution. Anil is successful on basketball free throws 70% of the time. How likely is he to be successful on 7 of 10 free throws attempts? Part B is how likely is he to be successful on at least 7 of 10 free throws attempts? That's the question for you, right? So we have two parts. So part A, we want to find the success rate on 7 of 10 throws. In the second one, it is at least 7. So when I say at least 7, that means we are looking for success rate of 7, 8, 9 or 10, right? So all those, correct? So random variable here is is to basket right so success here is 70 percent so success probability is same it is independent it is 70 percent so 70 percent or we could write this as 0 0.70 failure q will be 1 minus 0 0.70 which is 0 0.30 correct so that's the failure now we know that all the throws are independent, right? And so their product, they can, to find the probability, we could <coughs> apply the binomial distribution. Now let's find the answer for the first one, which is, how likely is he to be successful on 7 of 10 free throws? That means 7 are successful, but 3 are not. That's the question, right? So, so part A, successful on 7. So it is, probability is 0 0.70. 0, successful. Let me give you a general formula, right? So we are saying probability of success is if we have n attempts, and if, let us say, r are successful, in that case, it is, NCR, probability of success to the power of R times probability of failure to the power of N minus R. So out of N, R is success and N minus R are failure, right? So we'll apply this formula. Simple as that. So in this case, we are saying probability for 7 out of 10, right? Okay. So, so NCR, N is 10 for us. 10 see how many success 7 10 c 7 do you see that times 0.7 square times 0. Point. failure is 30 percent total number of trials are 10 so 3 are failure do you get an idea so this is part a you can use calculator find the answer part b how likely is he to be successful on at least 7 so at least 7 means we're looking for success uh, 7 times, right? So random variable is 7 plus 8 plus 9 and plus 10. Do you see that? Where we define the random variable success as to get the basket, right? <coughs> Number of success, right? 7. So, so the success, let's say random variable, is here is number of baskets that is seven eight nine ten okay at least seven right so if you use this formula you could get all these values by saying the 10 c seven point seven to the power of seven zero point three zero to the power of three Plus for 8, 10C8, 0 0.7 to the power of 8, 0 0.3 to the power of 2. The sum should be 10, right? Plus 10C9, 0 0.7 to the power of 9, 0 0.3. And plus 10C10, all baskets perfect, right? So 0 0.7 to the power of 10, 0 0.3 to the power of 0, correct? So, so all this sum will give you the answer. So this is part B, right?
So I hope that helps you to figure out how to do such questions. So if you use your calculator and calculate this out, you will get uh, this as 0 0.2668. And when you add all this out, you get this result as 0 0.6495. Right? So th those are your answers, expected answers for this particular question. Right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.